What's up everybody? I am in the gecko room. I am going to show you guys a really really expensive and beautiful gargoyle gecko I imported from Korea. everybody so take a look at this gorgeous animal here let me go ahead and pick her up this is a red six stripe or as some may call them super stripe gargoyle gecko this one was produced by a breeder out in korea and obviously a lot of koreans have very very gorgeous animals as you can see and this girl actually went up for sale uh, somebody hit me up about it and they told me you know they would like it to go to my collection and of course I could not say no um, females are always are hard to find right now for some reason so it's good that she is a female and this girl will be paired up I'm not sure with who yet um, probably Pennywise for the first year that she breeds here which would be at the end of this year um, just so I could create I think she might jump you're gonna jump no okay just so i could create more of those super stripe or six stripe gargoyle geckos my main idea is to get as much red on these guys as possible i love all the red on her eyebrows on her face on her lips and obviously on those laterals as you can see right there this is one of the nicest gargoyle geckos we have in this collection right now so um, I figured that I would show you guys. I posted this girl on my Instagram. A lot of people were excited about her and obviously rightfully so. So I want to show you guys what I plan on pairing her with, with which is Pennywise. Um, as some of you guys may have already seen him in a previous video. I'm going to give you a small update on Pennywise. And I'm also going to show you two other geckos that I imported from Korea. And that's the thing that I think is very important over here at Tiki's Geckos. You know, we always are striving to produce the highest quality animals possible. So I'm always importing different lines. I'm importing different bloodlines that we can mix with our bloodlines. And who doesn't want to see one of these animals be mixed in with Deadpool stuff or Dracula stuff? I mean, look at the color on this thing. It's unreal. I know the camera isn't the best um, way to actually... Well, like looking at something in camera is not the same as looking at it in person. I'm literally looking at the screen right now and looking at the animal and it's a world of a difference, but you guys get the point. This thing is absolutely incredible. So I had to show you guys and I also want to show you some of the other gargoyle geckos that we imported. So this girl doesn't have a name yet. I got to give her an epic name because she is an epic gecko. So I'm going to need your guys' help naming this girl. Put your suggestions down in the comments below. Let me know what I should name her because, man, this thing is on fire. So let me put her back and show you the other geckos I got in from Korea. So this male here is another gecko I imported from Korea. This one was actually produced in the United States and it found its way back into the U.S. thanks to me. Um... But as you can see, is another six stripe gargoyle geckos. Like I said, my main goal with these guys is to put them on as much red as possible. And as you can see, I mean, the color on these guys is unbelievable. So I'm excited to continue to, you know, progress the red gargoyle gecko group um, breeding projects with our lines. Oh my God, he's a little spaz too. I don't want him getting out, um, but yeah. This is another one of the geckos we got in from uh, the from Korea. So this one was actually a, an animal that somebody purchased, a Korean uh, person purchased and got exported to Korea. And then unfortunately they had to get rid of all their geckos and they had a lot of high-end geckos. So I picked up a few of them and this is one of them along with that other female I just showed you. So I actually have some lines that are related to this guy. But um, they're excellent lines, a lot of very, very high quality animals. So I'll definitely be posting more about them. And I'll, uh, you know, be mixing them in with Deadpool stuff. 
I'll be mixing them in with, you know, Dracula animals and all the other good lines we have. Let me make sure this guy doesn't get out though, because he is a jumper. All right, let me put his plant back in there and let's move on to the third gecko I got imported. So here is a red base, red striped gargoyle gecko that was originally produced in the Sech Republic um, by a really good breeder out there as well that was actually acquired by that same Korean person. I'm telling you guys about that I bought these animals from and this thing is absolutely smoking. Can't wait to grow this thing out and you know, I'm gonna have a lot more red base gargoyle gecko projects. The red on this thing is unreal. It's a young male. Originally I purchased this as a female, but turns out to be male, but it's okay. We'll figure out what we can do with this guy. And here is an update on Pennywise. Pennywise actually a little bit of a crazy guy himself, but um, as you can see, I love the lateral lines on Pennywise. They follow through all the way to the cheeks and he is, his red is actually very, very bright comes from a really good breeder here in the US and it's something that I'm excited to mix in with the Deadpool lines as you guys have seen in our other videos. Let me make sure he doesn't like escape because he is a runner. But Pennywise is an absolutely beautiful jaw dropping red striped gargoyle gecko. Um, these guys, as you know, if you follow my channel, it's one of my favorite breeding projects. And look at the color on this thing. I mean, oh my God, Penny, why stop running, dude? Color is absolutely crazy. He is right under breeding weight, I would say, but you know, as you can see, he has his male parts right there. He is a well-developed male. And in a couple months, I usually pair my gargles up in the, in the cool season anyways. So he still has some months to grow up but I just wanted to show you guys an update on this guy. So he's the one that's gonna get the first crack at that female that I imported from Korea. But today I actually asked a lot of you guys on my Instagram page, what kind of videos you guys wanted to see here on YouTube. And a lot of you guys wanted to see my rep, my gargle gecko collection. Now it's impossible, well not impossible, but it's gonna take a really, really long time and a more thought out video for me to show you guys all of my gargle gecko groups. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys some of the holdback gargle geckos that we have. And I'm gonna go through some of the breeders that you all love so you guys could see and get an update on them. So this little dude right here is in 2019 Deadpool offspring, a uh, holdback of mine. I actually never held back any males from Deadpool, believe it or not. So this one will be the first. So you can see he's very dark, kind of like Deadpool. And he has some great color on him already. He is a male. As you can see, he has his male parts developing already. So I'm excited to pair this guy up to a bunch of different females in the future, maybe in two years or so, and get that Deadpool line going. Beautiful lizard. So this gargoyle gecko here, and this little spaz, is a, oh my God, I don't have a good feeling about this. This is a super blotched from one of my groups that I held back. Super blushed, don't get enough love as they should, is completely fired up right now, as you can see, with all the white coloration. But these things are absolutely gorgeous. And as this gets bigger, of course, it will get better. As you guys know, I say that in all my videos, basically. But uh, it's a juvenile, probably about like 15 grams right now or so. And yeah, just a super cool looking gargoyle. I don't show enough of these ever, but I will start to. So this guy right here, his name is White Boy, and he is actually as fired up as I have ever seen him. He doesn't get any darker than this really, and that's pretty amazing. When he's fully unfired, he is completely white. And as you can see, he's not really dark, right? he's like a yellowish coloration when he fires up with those orange stripes. But this is an animal that I'm building a project on. Oh God, he's about to jump. Don't jump, don't jump, don't jump. Okay, I got him. He's an animal I'm building a project around because I think he might be some sort of hypomelanistic animal. And hypomelanistic just means that it's, mis that it's 
has significantly uh, reduced melanin, which is, you know, melanin is the black pigmentation. So I'm excited to see what will happen with this guy if we could produce more hypomelanistic like animals. White boy, don't go anywhere. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to get a video of him when he's not fired up, but now I'm gonna put him back because I really don't wanna lose him. <laughs> But he is a really nice animal. I'm not sure if I've ever showed him on YouTube before. Here is a really gorgeous red striped gargoyle gecko I got from a friend of mine a while back. This girl is absolutely gorgeous. Just overall great coloration, great temperament. So I'm excited to breed this female this season. You know, in the I'll be pairing them up probably like in the winter. And she'll be paired up with somebody very special. So I'm excited to see what she produces. Now probably everybody's favorite gargoyle, Deadpool. This is the Deadpool group. And this is actually Scarlet J. She's a little faded as you can see cause she's getting old there, but still has great color. And Scarlet J is actually a daughter of Dracula. But this female is absolutely gorgeous. One of my best productions to this day. And here is Deadpool. Also looking a little faded and worn down from breeding. He's actually on his third uh, regenerated tail. So if you didn't know, gargoyle geckos actually do regenerate their tails, unlike the crested geckos. But this is Deadpool. Look at him. He's getting old, but still keeping that red coloration really, really nice. Um, really excited about where this line has been going and what have we, what we've been doing with this you know, group of gargoyle geckos and to keep working with them because, you know, the color on these guys are unlike any other gargoyles I've ever seen. As you can see, I do have animals that are looking better than him in terms of how much red they have, but genetic wise, this guy is a powerhouse. So now that I showed you gar uh, Deadpool, let me try to, well, it's okay. I won't put him back yet. This is one of his females. And keep in mind guys, red on these guys doesn't look too crazy compared to like Pennywise and stuff because these guys are older animals. They are starting to fade, but you know, good lines will keep their color, you know, throughout the years. And these are some of my best red stripe gecko producers that pull on top and one of his females here on the bottom. So I'll put them back now. There you go, Deadpool, get off of me. Okay, maybe not. And that's Scarlet J. I'll put I'll post a picture of what she looked like when she first on her first year of breeding so you guys can see the difference, but it definitely breeding them and um just the years take, you know, they're tall on these geckos and they lose some of their color, but they're still healthy animals, they're still beautiful in my opinion. So, yeah. For those of you guys who have been following us for, you know, a couple years you will recognize these two this is dracula doesn't even have any red on his cheeks anymore barely on his back and this is velvet these are the parents to scarlet j now dracula is absolutely a stud he is one of my best producers passing down red um this girl too she is an absolute stud female version <laughs> But uh, these guys produce some of the highest quality red stripes out there. And they're probably about close to 10 years old now. Still making very, very beautiful animals. You can see she's on a regenerated tail. She just jumped on my shirt. And Dracula's never actually lost his original tail. But he is an absolutely stunning gecko. And I will also post pictures of them in their prime. So you guys could see a little bit of how they age. But these guys are some of my favorite gargoyle geckos in my collection just because of how much history they have here how much they have helped to build my business and this whole thing so i really they have a special place in my heart but this dude here is actually one of my favorite i gotta stop saying that i, I feel like i say that all the time anyways this is one of the newer um red stripe gargoyle gecko breeders here at tiki's geckos this is actually an offspring of dracula and you can see he has that bold red stripes down the back the one on the lateral and this is one of his females here let me put him down 
This is one of his females. She's very pretty. All right, girl, come on, come on, come on. Don't do this, don't do this. All right, well, that's her. Now she's gonna get all dirty, great. Um, let me see if I find the other female. Oh, no, oh, where are you going? Sorry, not today. He's one of my favorite red stripes I have right now. Well, let me see if I could find the other female without. Wow, he's nice. Okay, dude, freak. What the freaking freak? What the freak? All right, so like I said, it's gonna be hard for me to film all my gargle gecko groups. I'm sure in a future video we will get to do that, but as of now, that's gonna wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed some of our gargoyle geckos in our collection. I'm excited for the future. I'm excited to breed all these new lines into our existing lines already. So thank you guys for watching. Remember, excuse me. If you have any questions, if you have any, cons if you wanna see our available animals, go to our website, www.tikisgeckos.com. We always have gargoyle geckos available on there and if you want to see things on, you know, just an update on how things are progressing here at Tiki's Geckos, follow us on the rest of social media. We have Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, everything that's social media we have. We also have a Patreon page if you want to support us. And um, one thing I wanted to mention is that, you know, this was a video I made because everybody on Instagram wanted to see the, the gargle geckos in the collection. So... If you have suggestions of the videos you want us to make, feel free to drop us some DMs on Instagram or hit us up on Twitter or any of your other social medias because sometimes here in the comment section, we don't get to see everything. We'll answer a couple uh, comments, but you know, it gets really busy here. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate every single one of you guys and I hope you liked the video and we'll see you again in a couple days. Boo.